I have never done a Sephora video here on YouTube. No, I haven't. And that is because well, you'll have to wait to see why. Why I, why I don't do Sephora videos. I'm not against Sephora. I, I like it. I shop there. I'm not a Rogue men member anymore, so I don't get 20% off. I can't buy anything at the sale until tomorrow the 9th. I'm a VIB, so I only get 15% off. But here why I don't love the Sephora sale and I don't buy into the hype of the Sephora sale. However, I'll show you right now what's in my cart. And let's talk about a few things that might be worth a splurge, might be worth 15, 20% off. And um, I'm glad you're here. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Spieler. I'm an over 25 year professional makeup artist. If you are new here, welcome to the Look Good Close Up Club. We're a women of a certain age who just like to look cute each day. And if you don't really know how to do that, you're in the right place because I teach you makeup of all budgets, skincare of all budgets, and just join our growing numbers to our lovely community. We have the best community here on YouTube. Um, I also wanted to mention that I've never done a Sephora video before, ever. I like Sephora, I shop at Sephora, but I'll explain in a few minutes why I really never do Sephora videos. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but this channel is so close to 100,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. When I started TikTok in 2020, I think my YouTube had about 400 subscribers, maybe. And then it doubled to like 800. And then slowly it kept growing because people from TikTok would, you know, come over. And then because we grew such a beautiful community here, YouTube recognizes the engagement and they will put my videos into a lot of feeds of demographic, you know, women in my age bracket. So we are 300 away from 100,000. I am so excited to hit that milestone because it's because of all of you. This is not the Michelle show. I am here for you. I trademarked my name, Mature Makeup Masterclass, because I want to build a brand just for us. Wouldn't that be refreshing? Just for us. So stay tuned. Okay. One more thing I wanted to mention is we just got back from college tours, just took Gracie up to Ohio State and Michigan. Michigan is her number one choice. And when we took an outdoor tour, it was about an hour and a half and it started to snow and there was definitely wind. And that night when I took my makeup off, my skin was kind of pink. And the next morning it was pink. And the day after that it was pink. And I'm like, I think I got a windburn. I know it wasn't, I know it wasn't sunburn because I had just put this on within the hour. I also reapply this, but we were only outdoors for an hour and a half. And this is a 50 and I put it on Thick, plus I had makeup with SPF in it. I had to believe it was from the wind and it, it reminded me, you know, because I'm from Southern California and then I lived in North Carolina for 11 years. Now I'm here in Nashville. It reminded me that in cold weather, women do get red skin. They get chafed, they get dry, they get broken capillaries from the cold. And it was just a good reminder of what everyone in this audience deals with you know you're not all like me you know it's just it's a good reminder and so i'm just really thankful that that happened and then i got to wake up and go wait why is my face pink and it was even pinker on this side because the wind was probably coming from this side but it just it it made me relate to women better and then we're driving through tiny little towns in ohio we went from columbus up to ann arbor and it goes through some little amish communities and we're just looking at like these tiny, tiny little towns. And it just made me think of all the women who either have to buy their makeup on Amazon or Walmart. And we even Googled it like this town, where do these people shop? And like Walmart was 12 miles away or Target was an hour and a half away. Like women usually have to get all their groceries 
clothing, makeup, skincare, all of that comes from Walmart when you're in these tiny little communities. It was just such a good reminder that we all don't do Sephora. We all don't do Ulta. This is why I love doing drugstore makeup videos because our most women in America shop drugstore than Sephora and Ulta. We just think everyone is obsessed with Sephora, but they're really not. And I'm not obsessed with Sephora at all. And I was reticent to even make this video but I thought, you know what? I do have a few things in my cart and people probably need to know why I'm getting what I'm getting and what I recommend, okay? First of all, I've always said that you can get a much better discount shopping the brand alone, but the brands don't do sales during Ulta sale or during um, Sephora sale because obviously they want to help drive business to Sephora through their brand. So I... I have a big job coming up next week. It's not a big job, it's a small job. <laughs> but It's a producer coming to town from ESPN. I worked for ESPN for many years and I'm doing some glamour makeup on her for a huge concert. I'm super excited. And I thought, you know what? I am so in love with this Givenchy powder and this is the mini, okay? I want you to see how much is in here, okay? Look at that. I would say it's over 50% full this is the 03, so it's got the more pinky coloring, which is great because I'm more golden, so I like that it balances me out. But I want the large version, and then I'm gonna put this little small one in my kit. But look at this, I have had this mini since I think November, and I've used it every day. Like it's my number one favorite powder. And so you could totally get the mini and you'll probably have it for at least six months to a year. It's a lot of powder. So I want the full size for me because it's easier to dip a big old brush in. And then I'm going to put the small one in my pro kit and I can use it on this darling girl next week. And, you know, nice little puff. So this is in my cart. And I'm going to, I think I just showed you a picture of what's in my cart. This is for sure in my cart. Okay. Mario Skin Enhancer. It is a, he doesn't call this a bronzer, but it is. It's a soft color transforming skin enhancer all over warming complexion balm, okay? It is balmy. So if you are oily and you don't want your hair sticking to your face, this is not for you, but I hit pan. I almost never hit pan because I have, see this thing back here? I have a whole other one right here. So each, so I have alphabetical. So at the top we have Anastasia Beverly Hills. The next one down we have Chanel and Bare Minerals and Buxom. And the next one down we have Charlotte Tilbury and I go in alphabetical order. I have so much makeup, not to mention massive amounts of skincare. So I rarely hit pan. I love the Makeup by Mario. I have it right now on my face. It's on kind of the top and the outside of my forehead. It's kind of sculpting the outer cheek just a little bit. And this is light medium. And I can use this year round, but I also bought the medium for summer because I found last summer this wasn't enough. Just needed a little boost more. So I have this light medium also in my pro kit and I'm buying a medium for my pro kit because I have a medium for me, okay? So that's in my cart. Then, you've heard me talk about this many times, my favorite pencil is the Give Gwen Stefani. This is Give by Gwen Stefani. This is black, it's called Spider Webs. It's up in my waterline, it does not transfer, and for me, it stays on like crazy. Now, some of you have bought this based on my recommendation, and you said it still didn't stay in your waterline, and that you've never, ever had a pencil that has stayed in your waterline. In fact, many of you have told me you have bought multiple waterproof pencils by multiple reputable brands, drugstore or higher end, and nothing stays in your waterline. And I am sorry to report that if nothing stays in your waterline, nothing ever will. Some women just produce more like little oil around the glands of their eyes that where we have little glands where our lashes grow out. Some people just have more oil in their lash glands and in their lash line, which will go into your waterline. They have 
more oil on their uh, eyelids. I've seen it firsthand as a makeup artist. Some women have drier eyelids. Some women get really, really, really oily on their eyelids. And for, for those women, I mean, that's just your DNA. And this is never gonna stay on your waterline. But most of you who've tried this, are they love it. You love it. You love it because it stays put in the waterline. And so I just got the dark brown because I wanna play with the dark brown um, instead of just the black because you know. So these are the three things in my kit, um, in my cart right now. Now, I am not rogue anymore. I was rogue and I am not rogue anymore, I am VIB. So I only get 15% off. And believe me, I am on Givenchy website newsletter. I'm on Mario, I don't think I'm on her website, but I go on a lot of brands' websites and subscribe to their emails because that's how you get the big sales. Pat McGrath has huge sales all the time. So, um, I'm getting those at 15% off, but I can't order till tomorrow because I'm only VIB. But if you're rogue, you already know 20% off. Now, I don't think 20% off is a huge whoop de doo This is why I don't talk about Sephora a lot. Sephora is always really cheap too. Ulta gives you all these beauty points. So every time I go to Ulta, they're giving me, oh, $3 off your order, $6 off your order. Oh, you got $9 off your order today. I love Ulta. I love their point system. It's so generous. Um, Sephora isn't there yet, and I don't know if they ever will be. But I like Sephora. I do. I'm not, I'm not putting it down. I just think you can get much better discounts shopping through the brands, okay? But I will get those products at 15% off. Here's what I really, really love at Sephora, and I'm on my second version of it or my second product with some of them. As you know, my number one mascara for about a year and a half has been the YSL Lash Clash in Brown. It's a rich brown. It's so beautiful and I absolutely love it. This is getting dried out. I need to get a new one, but this is a great, it, it's a great brown and it's a pretty mascara. It lengthens and thickens. So think about that because I find it's very hard to find this rich brown in drugstore, very hard. Something I've worn two summers in a row is the Say Slip Tint. It has an SPF 35, but as you know, that's not enough. Not unless you're putting two full finger lengths of skin tint on your fingers and rubbing it in. It's probably going to be too much. You really do need a strong SPF and then you can do this over it. The fact that it has SPF in it, great, added bonus. But I would not rely on this as your SPF. The reason I like this is because in the summer, when it's hot and humid, I just want to even out my skin tone a little bit. And I am shade three, and I really love this. I've worn this two summers now. And sometimes I wear it year round, but it's really popular for me in the summer. Um, what's on my eyes today, which I think is so fun, it's so, 80s but more modern it's victoria beckham it is not at sephora but someone's gonna ask what's on your eyes and so i'm just letting you know it's this really fun victoria beckham pencil it's one of her th thicker chubby pencils it's not one of her kajal liners anyway i just had to let you know because i just wore it today for the first time i'm probably gonna do a TikTok on it tomorrow it is so cute i love it okay i've talked about this before but because it's not cheap, I think that this is worth a splurge. It's on my cheeks today. It's like a, it's a highlighter, but this is peach. So it has some pigment in it. So you could wear it as a blush and a highlighter. I know the whole world's going crazy for the rare beauty blushes. I'm sure they're good. I'm not a big rare beauty person. I'm not against Rare Beauty. I like Selena Gomez. I feel like it's a um, a brand tailored to a younger person. They don't send me PR. Um, anything I've bought from Rare Beauty, I've bought with my own money and I put it immediately into my pro kit. I don't use it on myself. But this is kind of the same concept except in liquid. And I think it is absolutely stunning and it comes in different colors, but this is the peach. I might, I might, might, might get this 
and the pink one for my kit, but I'm not sure because I still have some Charlotte Tilbury. I have to really work in my kit for a bit and see what I still need. Okay, I've always talked about the Pat McGrath lip pencils. These are the longest wearing lip pencils I've ever used in my life. They're, they're not cheap, they're $28. This is the color structure and I just think it's a great, it's just a great nude. It's just a really, really pretty nude. And I don't have it on today, I have Max stripped down, but this would be a time to splurge on these. Um, but again, if you go on Pat McGrath's website, she has phenomenal sales all the time, very generous sales on Pat McGrath. Okay, and then another thing I like about um, Sephora is I love their fragrance. Gracie and I will run to the back of the store. We won't even look at any of the makeup. We make a beeline to the back of the store. I personally love buying the little tubes, the little travel tubes, because it's how I can have more fragrances. Like, have you ever seen those people that have like shelves and shelves of fragrance behind them? You know, fragrance is their thing. For me, it's makeup and skincare, but for some women it's, it's fragrance and they'll have shelves and shelves of fragrance. My whole life, I was a one fragrance girl. Like I wore, I wore, um, YSL Paris all through college. And then when I met my husband, what was I wearing? Um, I can't remember what my fragrance was. And then in my late thirties and my early forties, it was Michael Kors, but I had a baby at 40. So I really kind of stopped wearing fragrance for a long time. Then I got into clean beauty and I never wore fragrance because it can be an endocrine, endocrine disruptor. And then I started slowly getting back into fragrance and I'll mist it and I'll walk into it rather than putting it like right on my skin. I love Black Opium by, um, is that Dior? Black Opium. And then what else am I loving? I love Joe Malone has a red hibiscus. I love Chanel number no. five. I know so many people are like, ooh, fallen and can't get up. I love Chanel number no. five and I'm even watching a show on Apple TV about, it's called The New Look and it's about the history of haute couture fashion in Paris during World War II and coming out of World War II. And they really focus on Coco Chanel and Dior. It's such a good series. It, there's not much cussing because I'm a prude. There's no sex because I'm a prude, but it's so good. And it just has me really loving my Chanel number no. five again. But Terry Mugler, who I could not stand Angel in the 90s. All my friends wore Angel. Everyone at Mac wore Angel. It would make me gag. So if you wear Angel, good for you. Maybe you can just tolerate it or maybe it's just I don't know I I just it literally makes me gag um maybe because so many people oh, such a big hype and so many people wore it in the 90s and I just it's I couldn't get away from Angel but this is the Terry Mugler um Alien Hypersense the new one and it's so yummy it's it, he sent this to me or they sent this to me it smells like a sweet tart but with some spice so it's like a spicy sweet tart. It's, it's so good. It's so good when I wear it. My husband loves, loves, loves it. Okay. So I think fragrance is a great thing to buy at Sephora. Again, just like you could buy mini powder, you can buy the travel fragrances. Yeah. You're going to get more of a value buying a bigger bottle, but to save a lot of money, you could just buy a little travel size. And I've done that for years. I have, um, so many good fragrances, so many good ones that I buy in travel size. And then if I f love it, then I'll commit to a bigger bottle. Okay. Finally, I am loving Lancome. Their new nudes. These are called, what are these called? The Absolute Rouge into Matte. So these are soft mattes, but they don't look dry. It's more like a rose petal lip, but they came out with eight nude shades. They are so beautiful. This is 340. It's called Lover's Whispers. So I saw that. I'm like, oh, it's going to be kind of warm peach. It's, it's, I would say it's a little more of a warm pink. You click it here. I just love Lancome. Do you? I just, I'm so, it, it's kind of a warm pink beige so pretty 
and they sent me all eight shades so I can swatch those. I'm wondering, do we do do we do a long comb spring video? Should I do long comb? I've done a whole video on long comb before. They have sent me some really beautiful things so I could do a spring look, like kind of a spring nude look doing long comb. So let me know in comments if you would like to see that, but this is beautiful and I felt I wanted kind of a nude lip with this really fun eye. And then my mascara today is not even from Sephora. In fact, it's from the drugstore. I started wearing it on the college tours again. I hadn't worn it in a little bit of time. It's the Milani, it's a tubing mascara. Look at that. Look at that length. Of course, I do wear, I do use lash serums. I do, I've used Obagi for a year and a half and now I only have to use Obagi like twice a week to maintain my length. But I mean, this is, cr I love this tubing mascara. So that's Milani, $14.99, that's drugstore. Okay, let me think, is there anything else? Again, I just really think you can get much better deals going through the brands. The problem with that is you're gonna have tons of emails because if you if you like subscribe to every brand's website that you love or use, that's gonna be a lot of daily emails and that's the only thing I don't like about it. But you will get like 25%, 30% as opposed to Sephora's measly little 15%, right? But I am getting these three products. Um, you can't get Give anywhere else really except her website. So I am gonna get these three products and um, that's probably where I'm gonna stay. I'm probably, I, I could use this in my kit, but not really. I have some Charlotte Tilbury I need to get through and I need to use what I have is what I'm saying. I really need to use what I have, okay? Again, you know, if you like bougie, expensive skincare like La Mer, it's a great time, you know, to buy stock up on your skincare at, you know, 20% off or 15% off and you get it. So I really think the Sephora sale is great if you're trying to replenish or if you like some expensive items and you just want the discount, then it's a great time to buy. Other than that, I don't get the hype. I really don't. I think it's something that influencers have created. I think it's something that Sephora has hyped up um, in the influencer community. And so everyone's like, oh my gosh, Sephora sale. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. You know, we just got through with the whole Ulta sale and I didn't buy much of the Ulta sale either other than Ulta Beauty. I loved the Ulta Beauty products. They were great and they were 40% off, but I like Ulta better because you get your points. The point system really helps. It really adds up, right? All right. Well, I'm so glad you're here and um, I do have a Saint video coming Wednesday night and then this Saturday, I think kind of thinking I might want to do some like long comb, maybe long comb spring. What do we think? My hair's faded a lot too. I feel like I'm a little bit more of a, a dark strawberry blonde or a dark honey blonde. And this is the color I asked for when I went in and I came out with that like intense, um, saturated reddish tone, which I liked. I did. I liked, but now after two shampoos, um, we're dealing with, you know, just a lot of um, fading, but I'm okay with that. I love it. I love it. Okay. I will see you later this week. Thank you for helping to grow the greatest community on YouTube. And I love you and God loves you. And I'll see you this week.